Things are about to get underway here in round one. Ward's <laughs> taking that punch pretty well. So how do you earn the title of most exciting fighter in the world? I'll tell you how. By fighting the way Arturo Thunder Gaddy fights, that's how. What an aggressive shot. Ward's putting a two-punch combination together. Good hook by Mickey Ward. He makes him look silly. Great counter punch from Ward. Great work to get his opponent to go for the feint and then follows it with a big blow. Loose jab lands for Ward. So how do you fight a balanced guy like this? Well, I'm sure his corner is mixing up the advice because one thing won't solve. Beautiful clean punch. Two punch combination lands flush for Ward. Gaddy's really putting his boxing skills on display. Nice counter. Scoring with a big right to the head. Great combo from Gaddy. Mickey Ward's landed a great hard shot to his opponent's head. Clean hook absorbed by Gaddy. You can see his style lends itself well to that power style. Compact always has the feet planted and he's ready to deliver a punch. Ward's got to learn how to throw a shot and get out of the way. Good exchange. Nice counter landed at the end by Ward. Big left uppercut lands squarely for Ward. Skillful hard counter by Gaddy. Good jab by Iris. Brick upon brick. That's how the pride of Lowell, Massachusetts, Mickey Ward builds pressure. Till you're blue in the face and you're looking for any way out of there. Looks like he's having trouble getting off the ropes. Jab to the head, right to the body. Nice combination for Gaddy. Jab upstairs. Nice one two lands there. There are just a few seconds still to go. And that'll do it for this round. This fight is shaping up to be pretty close. Let's see what happened in that last round for Ward. Let's take a look at some of the better points in that last round for Ward. Let's get going with round number two. Gaddy's corner didn't accomplish too much between rounds. Beautiful jab finds its home. Not a lot that this fighter does bad. Good all-around defense and a well-rounded offense. Big body shot looks to slow him down. I can see some swelling there around the left eye. You know, to fight a power slugger like this, you gotta try to stay on the outside. Getting inside a guy like this just spells trouble. Tremendous, a left uppercut connects. Drama. Just when you think he's a punch away from La La Land, he'll tear after his opponent with the ferocity of a wildcat. Oh, nasty body shot in close. That punch lands with a thud. He's doing a good job of drawing him in and then countering. He's a throwback fighter in every sense of the word. He'll meet you anywhere, anytime, and you better bring an army if you want to stop Mickey Ward. Thunder comes with a hook. Nice 
Nice punch. Always a good strategy to use that jab. Counter hook sends Shivers down his spine. Gaddy's learning that you have to be more careful with this kind of counter puncher. It behooves him to try to block more of the punches thrown by Gaddy. He needs to do a better job defensively or he's going to be hit with combos all day. Counter lands solidly. Arturo Gatti with a good punch there. Arturo Gatti with a monstrous hook. Let's see if anything happens here in the last 10 seconds. And just like that, the round is over. That was a close round. Let's go to the replay and get a sense as to how the judges might have scored it. Arturo Gaddis featured prominently in the highlights of that last round. Here comes round number three. Gaddy should look for a new cut man after this fight if they aren't able to repair his damage better. Gaddy's excited the crowd with an effective hook. His opponent brings it all to the ring. You know, he's one of those guys that's not really excellent at any one discipline, but he's good at everything, and you have to mix up your attack against a guy like that. Body shot lands, looking to set up the harder stuff up top. Solid counter shot lands by Mickey Ward. <laughs> Hook lands flush for Gaddy. Arturo Gaddy is able to get to his opponent with a damaging body shot. Mickey Ward caught on the ropes, which is exactly where he doesn't want to be. Get it with a textbook two punch combination. The counter hook looks very effective right now. Gaddy's got to be more careful, or he'll be getting countered all day. He's really displaying his counter-punching skills. Shoots a counter-hook. Here he's showing his boxing skills by effective countering. Great punching, nice one-two combo. Two solid shots crash into his opponent. He tries the left hook. Arturo Gaddis exploited a weakness in his opponent's defense and lands that combination. He looks to soften him up with a solid punch. Thunders bumped up with a big hook. Ward's hurt by that hook. He needs to fight out of the corner. Here we go, just seconds away. Gaddy's looking good, landing a pretty power shot. Fantastic work by both fighters. Neither one really made any mistakes that I could see. We're watching a good fight here. These two boxers seem pretty evenly matched. Let's take a look at some of the best moments from that last round. We'll take a look at some of the highlights as we come to the end of the round.
Here we go with the fourth round of what's been a great fight thus far. I can't see any change out there. His corner didn't actually do anything at all between rounds for Daddy. Thunder is able to connect with a good hook. Counter hook catches him off guard. Artful shot takes advantage of his opponent's aggressiveness. Ward with a stiff jab and a straight right hand. Big hook up top by Arturo Gatti. Two blows find their home. He hits him well as he looks to make an impact. A few solid shots by Gatti. Thunders thrown a deep body shot that looks to stop his opponent in his tracks. Gatti comes with a great shot to the body. What an awesome display of punching power. You can't knock this guy for being weak in any one area. He has all the tools that make up a good boxer. I've seen Gaddy's face as bloody as an operating table. His eyes swollen, crossed with cuts. He's a fighter who really needs his cut man. He's fortunate that he has one of the very best in the business. Ward's taking a digging right hook to the body. He's looking to take it to him with an effective counter. He's cleaning up, countering, and making him look silly. Boom, and you could hear that one all throughout the arena. Ouch, beat to the punch. Ward's showing that he's got heart by staying on his feet. But I don't know how much longer he'll be able to last like this. He needs to move effectively and get out of the way of those combos. He took that one squarely. Oh, walks right into that counter shot. Wow, Mickey Ward's down after taking a huge shot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Excellent hard two shot combo by Arturo Gaddy. Down to the last 10 seconds of the round. Arturo Gaddy's looking to be aggressive and throw combinations. Gaddy's proven his dominance with that thoroughly one-sided round. Ward's got to find a way to pick himself back up after this beating we are now seeing for the second time. Let's take a look at that knockdown brought to you by Everlast. Here we go with round number five. Nicely placed jab downstairs. Just walk in and throw, because if you do, he's gonna make you pay. Gaddy's left uppercut cracks his opponent. Mickey Ward's gotta protect himself better than that. Gaddy's able to score with a straight shot. Crowd is starting to get into things here as his left eye is almost completely closed. He hears the crowd roaring. This is the time to go in and end the fight for Irish Mickey Ward. Oh!
blocked by a hard hook. himself, fought his way back to his feet, and is looking to try and survive the rest of the round. He's going to need to do a better job of avoiding combinations like that one from Ward. Big blow lands cleanly upstairs. Nice hook upstairs. Ward's left eye isn't looking so good right now. Good right hand. <laughs> Mickey Ward is going to have to do a better job of protecting himself from those power punches. He lets two punches hit him hard. Beautiful punch by Gaddy. Mickey Ward taking two shots from his opponent. Two good punches find their home. He makes solid contact there. Thunder couldn't have done much better that go round. Get another peek at some of the best moments from that last round. Let's have another look at that knockdown brought to you by Everlast. Here we go with the sixth round of this contest. He's running on nothing but fumes. I don't think he's prepared to go the distance in this one. Pops him with the jab to the head. Making the other guy work. He's running him down. He needs to move his head more or he's going to continue to get tagged like that. Gaddy's showing a good chin by the way he's able to take that power punch. Gaddy's taking the strong left hook. He sticks from the outside and lands a jab. Ward's winded and in desperate need of rest. He's looking wobbly. His legs are really beginning to betray him now. One more solid combination and he's going to be lying on the canvas. You never want to throw just one punch at a time. The second... One action. He knocks his opponent down yet again. Take another look at that knockdown made possible by Everlast. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't know how much we can expect after being knocked down like that for Ward. <laughs> doesn't want the ref stepping in like this. He wants to finish things on his own. Perfectly timed hook lands from Gaddy. Ward's in a bad way. I'm not sure he's fully aware of his surroundings. Let's see if he can hold on till the end of the round. A flurry of punches thrown by Thunder. 
Oh. He collapses again. He falls to the ground yet again. Tonight's fight. Some really smart yeah. fighting has truly been the key thus far for Gaddy. Ward took quite a beating last round from what you're seeing here. Let's see if he can turn things yeah. around. This KO super punch. And here we go with the seventh round of this bout. Gaddy still looks very hurt and exhausted out there. He's receiving a warning from the referee, but he should be more concerned with his inability to defend himself. Ward's legs are very wobbly now. He's having a hard time moving around the ring. And you can see that one more flurry, or maybe even just one more big punch, and he's going to be laying on the canvas. Great technique exhibited by that two-punch dominator. Pounding Haymaker hits his opponent, and he's on the canvas. Knockout. 